I want to say uh, thank you to everyone for spending your week with us. Uh, hopefully you really enjoyed this virtual summit. Uh, we really enjoyed putting it together. I want to acknowledge the planning committee uh, for this summit, including Laurel Harbin, Devin Levins, Rick Hall, Hannah Reynolds, Max Hoffman, Ali Palmer, and Caitlin Widness. Uh, I have to say it was truly a pleasure to work with each of you and putting this together. I also want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors. Uh, it's because of you, we were able to uh, have this summit at all. And so really appreciate that. Uh, I also want to give a special acknowledgement to the sponsors of this event, DPZ Co-Design. Uh, and speaking of DPZ, they were willing to uh, donate a copy of this to us. Uh, and we have this as a raffle for someone who registered before September 10th. I used a random number generator and the 42nd person to register for this virtual summit is the recipient. Uh, and that person is Michael Alfano. So we will be in touch soon uh, to coordinate getting this beautiful book. I'm actually really jealous. Uh, also, it is a signed <laughs> copy of the book. So um, my virtual background is messing this up, but uh, it is a signed copy of the book. So uh, I, I am truly jealous, actually. Um, uh, I also want to uh, just invite everyone to grab a tasty beverage. Uh, Dance. If you want to turn off your <laughs> video before you dance, you're welcome to do that. Uh, I will spare you my dancing, but uh, you know, hopefully you just enjoy this. We're going over to Thomasville now to hear uh, some music to uh, end this event. So um, keep an eye out for an email that'll come out. Uh, it'll have a link to the recordings of all the sessions, uh, and there'll be a, a evaluation for the virtual summit as well. So. Uh, again, thank you everyone for spending your week with us. Uh, we've had a blast. I think we, we've got Liz platters Ibrick on. Uh, Liz, you have a couple of words to say? Um, a big thank you to you all for doing this. Um, I barely joined you, I regret to say, because of my teaching schedule, uh, but um, I thought it was a great idea the way you did it, and I did um, uh, get some of my students to tune in. So. We're grateful for that. I look forward to their reports. Uh, Liz, thank you for contributing that beautiful book to our cause. And uh, we were considering just raffling it off to someone in town to uh, because we don't have the postage. You know, to... <laughs> oh, I'll send you the postage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was very generous. Um, you know, the, the format, um, seemed to work pretty well in that we started every day at three and, and that left people a yeah. lot of production time in the morning yeah. and meeting time. They just schedule whatever they want to before three. So and, uh, were you able to track uh, the listeners? I mean, how many people you had along and so on? Um, yeah, Artie, you, you and uh, Devin have a record of all that, right? I, I saw um, 30, 40, and 50 people at a time. Mm -hmm. in some of these sessions. It was really good. That's great. Yeah, we had a 102 people register um, overall, and I know at least two of those were uh, international. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, a student from the University of Western Australia was on the last session and had a question. Uh, okay. So that was really excellent to, to have kind of an international reach. And I think a lot of the the uh, individual sessions were about 60 people, somewhere in the 50 to 60 people range, uh, person range. And uh, I know people have already started watching a, a lot of the recorded sessions because uh, YouTube tells me how many people watched them. Oh, yeah. uh, and if you want to pass it along, uh, Andre's uh, sessions were very, very popular and they're very, very popular on YouTube. That's great, great. I'll, yes, I will pass it along. That's and I believe some of these lessons learned from this uh, summit um, need to be passed on to CNU National mm -hmm. because they're going to do their first virtual um, uh, meeting and, uh, well, second virtual meeting. 
It'll be the second one. Second one, yeah. And um, I think we have some, uh, you know, when you go to a, a meeting, like we were going to the Congress for the New Urbanism, um, by the time you invested in your travel and your hotel and your food, you were there. And so it was the responsibility of the organizers to pack as much in as you possibly could into that time. You remove all of those costs and, and you're able to, to go half days. Yeah, or and, sequential, uh, you don't need, need to pile sessions on simultaneously. Yeah. Right, right. So yeah, that was always a frustrating thing going to CNU because there would, there would be two, three, or even four different simultaneous sessions and you had to make the, the terrible choice of which one to go to. So <laughs> this, uh, this kind of- Well, I'm sure Central would enjoy hearing your, your suggestions after yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, uh, with that, I guess I'll turn it over to the band. To the music, great. So, Artie, I assume that we will not be able to talk further once uh, the band is on. Is that the uh, arrangement? It'd probably be easier to uh, use the chat function to keep the conversation going. Uh, otherwise, it may uh, kind of bounce back and forth with the audio. So, yeah, okay. uh, as much as I would love to, to be able to converse and have the music at the same time, technology is still not quite there yet. <laughs> okay. So, but yeah, feel free to keep the conversation alive in the chat. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks for your leadership. <laughs>